Hey, 大家早 Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael. I am going to be your food tour guide today.、Um, we've been talking about Taiwanese breakfast. It's a whole series,、uh, and we know that it centers around soy milk, right?、Uh, but what if soy milk isn't your thing?、Uh, are there other alternatives? And the answer, of course, is yes. If doujiang, doujiang, or soy milk is not your thing, there is also mi jiang. Mi is the word for rice in Mandarin Chinese, as you learned in the last、uh, few episodes, and jiang. Is not river, Jiang,、uh, is the liquid extracted from something, and in this case, it would be the liquid extracted from the mi. So sometimes it's like serum, pulp, broth. Maybe there's. It's really hard to do a literal translation of certain words,、um, but put them together and. If you have mi jiang, we're just gonna, for the this loosely translated purposes, it's going to be milk, right? So、um, mi jiang、um, sounds like rice milk,、uh, but here, let me grab my. Here's my mi jiang. Oop, that.、Mm. There we go. Here's my mi jiang. But looking at the color. Makes you think that maybe it's made from brown rice, maybe.、Uh, but you know what? It, it isn't. It's made with white rice, and that color actually comes from peanuts. This is actually peanut milk,、uh, even though it's called mi jiang or rice milk,、uh, and it's called mi jiang because peanuts in, in Mandarin Chinese they say peanuts as hua shen. All right.、Uh, When they're taken out of their shells, when it's unshelled peanuts,、uh, in Chinese it's a different word. You don't just say shelled peanuts or unshelled peanuts. You call them either hua shen or you call them hua shen mi. All right, hua shen mi is the、uh, unshelled version of、uh, peanuts. But you can't just say like hua shen jiang、uh, because it sounds too similar. To the word for peanut butter, which is hua shen jiang, right? Hua shen jiang, and then hua shen jiang. That's it's it just gets confusing, right? So so then you take、uh, hua shen mi jiang, and then you you just call it mi jiang instead.、Um, mi jiang, it 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 smells so good. Like here, let's let's do this. If you ah,、uh, it smells like peanuts. It smells like peanut butter,、um, and it tastes very similar to. Peanut butter smoothie, yeah,、uh, less dense maybe, but this is this is my ama's favorite, my grandmother's favorite.、Um, another alternative to soy milk is xingren cha. All right,、uh, literally translated, xingren is almond and cha is tea in Mandarin,、um, but it, it's not really tea. There's not really any、um, caffeine or Woo! Things are falling.、Uh, in in the beverage, in plain English, this really is just almond milk, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay.、Um, and it usually comes sweetened, and it's and it's it's so fragrant, just like the mijiang, just like the peanut milk. You can. It smells so good. It smells like 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 floral almonds. Yeah. Um, and but this is my choice. This is my choice、uh, when I want something other than than soy milk. There are even、um, street vendors in Taiwan that specialize just in Xingren Cha.、Mm. This is good stuff. This is very good.、Mm. But you know, almond milk, peanut milk,、um, soy milk. Uh, now we got we got oat milk, cashew milk, macadamia milk.、Uh, the choice is yours.、Uh, but tune in next week more more Taiwanese breakfast. We are going to talk about all the various、uh, gao and the bao and the bing.
All right, those, we're gonna have some fun with that. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment below. What is your favorite alternative milk? Is it soy? Is it peanut? Is it almond cashew oat? What is it? Uh, and follow me on Instagram, at Food Tour Guide, of course. Uh, and that's it. Have a rest of a wonderful rest of your day and your week. And I'm gonna figure out what to do with all this. Ciao.